In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked in IIT GM Economics paper of 2021 regarding choice under uncertainty. The question was like this. The utility from wealth for an individual is given by this very utility function u of w is equal to under root w. The individual owns a risky asset that is equally likely to yield either $400 or $900. Okay. The risk premium of the asset is the options are 5, 25, 625 or 650. Okay, so we need to find out the risk premium. <coughs> Sorry. So we are being given a utility function for a risk averse person. How do we know this is risk averse person? Because we have under root sign here. Okay, if you are wondering what is meant by risk aversion, uh, risk loving or risk indifferent, I have made a video where I have explained it, it in simple language what is meant by that. Okay, so you can check that very video on this channel. Okay, so this person is uh, uh, having a risky asset that is equally likely to yield either $400 or $900. Okay, so either he gets $400 or $900 and probability of getting $400 is one half that means 50% chance is that he will get $400 and 50% chance is that he gets $900 how do I came out to be uh, with the number one half and one half simple thing we are being told that both the outcomes are equally likely two outcomes are said to be equally likely if each outcome has same probability of occurring okay so either he gets 400 with 50% chance or $900 with 50% chance. Okay, so these are equally likely. Okay, so first we need to find out the expected value of the gamble, expected monetary benefit from this gamble. Obviously, he is facing the gamble here. Okay, what is the expected value? Simply, when we multiply each outcome with its associated probability and sum them out, we get the expected value. That means one half into 400 plus one half into 900 which came out to be 200 plus 450 that means expected value of the gamble has came out to be 650 okay so expected value that means the utility from 650 sorry we got the expected value here 650 and what is the utility of this expected value utility of this expected value will be equal to uh, utility of expected value will be equal to under root of 650 because we just need to plug this 650 in this uh, utility function we uh, we got 25.49 as the utility of expected value okay first step was to calculate the expected value after that we need to find out the expected utility of this gamble how do we calculate the expected utility simple thing one uh, we simply multiply each outcome and of course we use here utility utility of each outcome with its associated probability that means one half into utility of 400 plus one half into utility of 900 utility is being defined by this very function so uh, utility of 400 means uh, under root 400 similarly utility of 900 means under root of 900 okay when we calculate at uh, this came out to be 25 that means expected utility of this gamble is 25 okay and this point you notice the expected utility of the gamble here okay this point you notice the utility of expected value and this point shows us the expected utility of the lottery gamble in this case okay so this is the expected value of the gamble and this is the utility of expected value okay obviously uh, uh, here you can see that expected utility let me write it here expected utility from the gamble is greater than utility of expected value we say the person is a risk averse person here okay sorry it is less than uh, utility of uh, lottery is less than the expected uh, sorry utility of expected value so in this case we say the person is risk averse person okay so we calculate the expected utility of the gamble now we need to find out the certain amount that makes an individual indifferent between gamble and the certain amount okay how much money that we need to give to this person so that he is indifferent between this point and this point okay 
what we call the certainty equivalent. How do we calculate say, certainty equivalent? Simply, we need to find out the utility of certain certainty equivalent should be equal to the expected utility of lottery. Okay, so utility of certainty equivalent means under root of CE should be equal to expected utility of lottery. And what is expected utility of lottery? We got it here 25 under root c is equal to 25 when we transpose this under root it becomes square here so this came out to be 625 that means if we give that very individual 625 dollars he will be indifferent between uh, the expected what we call he will be indifferent between uh, the gamble this point and the certain amount okay so certainty equivalent is simply a certainty equivalent of a risky gamble is the amount of money for which an individual is indifferent between a gamble and certain certain amount or we also say that certainty equivalent is the amount of sure cash that would make an individual indifferent between certain amount okay certain amount and the lottery okay so we calculate the certainty equivalent it came out to be 625 a risk premium is simply equal to the expected value the difference between these two gives us the risk premium expected value minus certainty equivalent gives us the risk premium and what is meant by this risk um, premium it is simply what we call the risk premium it is an amount that an agent is willing to pay to avoid the risk of a fair game okay so the amount of money that the person is ready to forgo in order to be indifferent between the what we call uh, sorry to avoid the risk of a fair gamble we call that very thing a risk premium and risk premium is simply the difference between expected value and this certain amount and we got this very thing here 25 that means the risk premium will be 25 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you